Good morning. I have not long woken up, had my morning coffee, had my morning poo, and now it is time to do my daily essential movement routine, not the poo routine, but exercise in the form of essential movements that I think everybody should be doing daily. So let's get into it. Check it out. Just installed these babies, these ladders in the roof of my home studio here. So first up, we have some hanging. In this first round of hanging, I am doing the passive hang. The passive hang is where we just let everything hang loose, really give the shoulders a good stretch, let the spine lengthen. It's great for decompressing the spine and I'm aiming for 60 seconds here. What you doing? <laughs> Next up, we have a low squat. So I'm just gonna get down, hang out here in my low squat for 60 seconds. Just wiggle about, move those hips around, just get the knees and ankles awake uh, and just hang out here for 60 seconds. If it is too difficult to do a freestanding low squat, you can either put something under your heels like a dowel or you can use a pole or something to hold on to, but put the timer on, hang out here for 60 seconds. After the low squat, I am moving on to the front to wall spinal wave. So for this one, it's handy in this first round to have a wall or something to receive tactile feedback so that you can articulate your spine one contact point at a time as you move through your spinal waves. So trying to maintain contact with the wall with just one point of the body as we roll through our front to wall spinal wave. This is a great one just to wake the spine up, get into all those little parts of the spine that have been stiff overnight and really just free up our movement in general. So that is round one complete. We are on to round two of three. Round two starts with another hang this time an active hang. So with this one, starting from the passive hang position, I am retracting through my scapula in behind those shoulder blades and I am contracting upwards and I'm gonna do 10 reps of these just to contract and release back into passive, contract and release back into passive, just to really floss those scapula and warm up the shoulders. This year has been one of the wettest in history for where I live on the Sunshine Coast in Australia. It just keeps raining on and off. So today, showers on and off. I've got a new little puppy there. She's loving it, digging in the mud, except muddy footprints all through the studio. <laughs> well, it stopped raining and a bit of sunlight is peeking through. So I always try to get a bit of sunlight in the morning as well get the shirt off, try to get some sun on the skin. This is round two of my squats. So this I'm gonna do a forward fold into low squat and repeat that. So let's take a look. From my low squat, extending the legs up, folding the arms, hanging, and back down. Hello. Uh, hey. And back down. And I'm going to do this for 60 seconds. Second round of spinal waves, this time back to wall. So I'm back at my wall or my post for that tactile feedback. And this time, I'm facing back to the wall, starting with the head, rolling down, trying to keep one point of contact on the wall at all times, really trying to articulate one vertebrae at a time. And I'm gonna do this for 60 seconds. Yes, the sunshine, it's coming out. And I'm also getting a little bit of light rain here, so sun shower. Uh, I also take this opportunity while I'm doing my three rounds of my morning movement to hydrate. So I've got a soda stream machine. I'll put a link to that uh, in the description below. 
And this is just a great way to hydrate. I love sparkling water. So I just sip on it as I go. Tastes so good when the bubbles hit your lips. <laughs> okay, third and final round of hanging. So uh, here it's just free play. I'm just gonna have a bit of a swing around on my bars. If you just have one bar, then just alternate, go one hand at a time. See if you can turn the hands around, create some different angles for the shoulders. And uh, if you can, and you've got some bars like these, add in some dynamic swings, nothing too crazy. This is our morning routine. It's just warming up the shoulders, but this is great for shoulder health, for the spine, for the grip strength, toughen up the hands. So let's get into it. Hey. <laughs> Here it comes, raining again, just on and off, I'm telling you. Look at that. Subtropical Queensland, Australia. Sort of monsoonal rains this year. Just teeming. Anyway, we'll keep keep moving on with the session. If you do have an animal, I have a new little English staffy here, Coco. Come on. <laughs> this is a nice time just to interact with her as well. First thing in the morning, take her out to the bathroom, have a little play. So, yeah, it's a good time to hang out with the animals and sharing the good vibes, sharing the good energy. <laughs> Hopefully, I am not losing too much audio quality here with this torrential rain, but we're up to our third round of our squats. Uh, so for this one, I am using a skill from my online course, Locomotion Flow 2.0. A link to that course is in the description below if you want to check it out. But this skill involves going from our low squat into our 90-90 or figure four position and then rolling around to the other side and exiting back up into our low squat. So this one is terrific for hip health, knee health, and it's also a nice little back massage it uh, wakes up the all the back muscles because we're rolling across the hard ground so it feels great too once you start to feel the flow <laughs> hey <laughs> ow <laughs> ow play time Third and final round of spinal work. These are spinal circles, keeping the shoulders and the hips relatively still. I'm gonna try and draw a circle through the center of my torso, around and around, opening up the multiple planes of direction for the spine. So we've done forwards and back. Now we're gonna bring in some circles. I'm gonna do that for 60 seconds. And then at the end, I'm gonna do 30 seconds of just intuitive free play. Just see where the body wants to go. If there's any tight spots that need some love, um, this is where you can get a little bit weird and just feel into your body. If you're into this stuff and you want to take a deeper dive, I have an online movement course called Locomotion Flow 2.0. It's all about locomotive primal movement. You learn individual skills, how to combine them, how to create really interesting flows. But better than that, you get stronger, more mobile, you flow better and you feel better in your body. It's also mindfulness practice. So that is it for today's video. I hoped you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, if you want to do some training with me, reach out for personalized online programming. If you're on the Sunshine Coast in Australia, come and see me. Come and train here at Pankina in the studio beside the forest. I will see you in the next video. If you got something out of this, smash the like button, share it if you can, and subscribe if you haven't already. See you later.